What's up, collective? What's up, collective? I want to do um, a reading for... I want to do a love reading for... For cancer. Here's your love reading, cancer, okay? Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Here's a love reading for cancer. What is it cancer needs to know? We hope it pulls out love, 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 okay? We hope that it pulls out love, 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 but you never know. You never know, collective. You never know. What is it cancer needs to know? Oh, you're, you're needing to read between the lines the lines okay uh someone is dropping hints there you need to listen to what isn't being said someone is trying to convey a message to you without being direct at this moment pay attention to their body language and listen closely to their choice of words to see the bigger picture so there's somebody you're needing to uh they're trying to drop a drop drop a hint to you, a hint to you about something man when they're talking just listen to them okay i don't know who that is collective but for you cancers but remember to hit subscribe if you feel my vibe cancer oh it said not your puppet you need to cut them off karmic ties clear your etheric cords a situation or person no longer deserves your time energy and attention detach yourself from any memories or people holding you under their influence, or anyone who doesn't have your best interest at heart. So, so you're needing to read between the lines, and this person keeps dropping hints to you that that you're needing to cut them off. You're needing to cut this person off, Cancer. That's what it's saying. Oh, and it says overnight success. You're made for this insta famous, sudden popularity. The secret to success is operating. In your gift without doubting its success let go of the idea that it won't financially support you and believe your gift will make room for you start fulfilling your purpose and see how quickly you'll begin to attract the right people and the right opportunities to help you prosper so so when you cut this person off cancer spirit said we're leading you to overnight success you got you because you, you're made for something whatever it is that you're doing you're made for it and you know you could be online doing something um you you could be a photographer or you might be um someone in the movies or you might be uh, a model because i'm looking at all this up here but you're connected to someone that isn't wanting you to be a success cancer mother energy okay that's that's what it is that's what it is trust Trust, trust out of sight, out of mind. You've been keeping a low profile. You, you make your presence known. Imaginary scenarios. Forgetting those not around. Don't believe it till you see it. If you didn't see it, don't believe it. Don't let your mind trick you into believing something you didn't even see. Practice quieting the mind to prevent overthinking. You've been overthinking this success. That's the problem, but the, the real problem is you're not really wanting someone that you're with, Cancer, and until you cut them off, you're going to keep getting in your own way. you got to believe in yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Life will already be filled with plenty of obstacles. Don't allow yourself to be one of them. Release any doubts and self-limiting beliefs that's been holding you back. So, so something in your mind that keeps replaying and playing is, is getting in, in your way. That's the problem to your success. Something keeps getting in your way. And, and whoever it is, it, it's somebody. It, it says, uh, cut this karmic tie off and clear this, these etheric cords. And sometimes you got to cut people. you got to take a a piece of wire, a piece of string or twine, and cut it for 30 days. That's how you cut them out of your energy, okay? Cancer, I'll help you. I'll tell you a secret. That's how. That's how you do it, okay? Love message, reading between the lines for cancer. Reading between the lines, okay? Attraction, divine soul counterpart. Attraction transcends superficiality. So, so look. 
is Persian. It's been dropping, hence they are attracted to you, okay? But you got to cut off this karmic or this situation or person that doesn't do honor you or, or your feelings. Honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. See, you've been honoring uh, this karmic, but you're attracted to someone else, okay? And yin and yang, like the yin yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. So, so look, divine masculine, divine feminine, you're going to be an overnight success as soon as you come together with whoever your twin is. Oh, and be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. See, but you was keeping a low profile and, and you needed to make your presence known and you needed to tell what was ever in your mind instead of letting it replay because you've been getting in your own way. And you got to believe in yourself. And you've been believing in uh, this past life connection. It said we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So see, so see, you've been open to someone in your past life and you didn't honor this attraction that you had to this divine masculine, divine feminine. And in order to be that overnight success, you're going to have to be open with this divine masculine and cut off the karmic past life. That's what it's saying, Cancer, okay? And stop feeling guilt. Don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness. That's what it's saying. Zoopity wow, zoopity wow, wow. What is, uh, what is one of these or two of these law of attractions? that they need to focus on. Oh, we need to focus on the law of divine will. Stop waiting for a sign. The universe responds to your beliefs. So whatever's already that you're believing, the universe is responding to it. <laughs> so, so you need to understand that this attraction transcends this superficial past life connection. You've been waiting for signs and signs and signs. And the universe done knows that you're meant to honor this divine masculine, divine feminine contract. Not your puppet. Not your puppet. Not your puppet. Not your puppet says the law of individualization. Shine your unique bright light. Look, so, so, so honor and be proud in your uniqueness and you're wanting to be an individual, but you, like I said, you got to cut these karmic ties and, and you got to have the willpower to speak to who it is that you're attracted to collectively. You can do that. And it says, um, the law of recipro reciprocity reciprocity give without expecting anything in return oh i think that went over it says the law of manifestation let go of trying to control life and allow miracles so you're needing to allow these miracles to occur you might live next to uh the ocean um that looks like cairo egypt is that Cairo, Egypt? Maybe you're from Egypt. But all I know is, is divine masculine and divine feminine is trying to is trying to manifest you at the moment. Or this is you. You've been trying to manifest overnight success. And it says, the law of allowing. Stop trying to fix, change, or control anyone. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. You, this this person that, that you reunited with all these past lives, this is somebody that you're still connected to, it's karmic. They're getting in your way, and you've not been allowing. You've just been trying to change and fix and control all this. And until you stop controlling all this, it, it's never going to happen. And that's what Spirit wanted me to tell you now. Pay attention and pay attention what Spirit's saying. Let me give you one of these little ones. Hang on, collective. Hang on, collective. 
what is one of these little for cancer it says you're rising above all your old negative ways okay 10 10 divine timing let go of that old negative person so you can rise above and remember if you're if you're new please hit subscribe and if you've been on my channel a while please hit like and tell me something it said you're an angel who helps all people you're an angel who helps all people. You're rising above all these old negative ways. The spirit just loves you. And I do too, Cancer. And you've wished upon a star for this person. You did it, Cancer. You did it or they did it to you. But somebody did it to you, okay? You or them or they or she or him or Sherm or Shem, whoever. But somebody did it and you wished upon a star. <gasps> oh, God, you wished on a star. What do I need to get for you? Guys and gals, what is it? What is it? Maybe I need to do this tarot, okay? Collective. Oh, the lovers, the lovers. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. See, God's trying to bring the two of you together. Heart chakra, green. Eat a lot of greens. Maybe you work in the health field, okay? That's what it's saying. Bazooka, 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 bazooka. Whatever you, makes you feel good, that's what you need to go towards, Cancer. Okay? And it's saying, Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience. A time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. So you, you've been uh, worrying a lot, but you planted seeds with this person that you're attracted to. You or them, one of you all did, and you... Always, you've been rising above all your old negative ways, ways, but you've been unnecessarily worrying about something. And Spirit's trying to tell you to read between the lines. They're trying to tell you something. Okay, not your puppet karmic. Release. Release the karmic. See, Archangel Michael is saying release, 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 release. Let the towers fall. There's two towers in the background. Towers aren't meant to be scared and fearful of. The towers helps you to grow. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. See, you've been, you've been transforming yourself. Overnight success. Overnight success. Overnight success. The wheel of fortune is on your side, baby. A fresh new start or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel, or new vehicle. Okay? So, look. You, it, it, it's faded. This, this is, this is uh, your new start and the end of your delays. This person that you wished for. You, and you must have wished for success with this person. And... And you need to stay positive during this change of you releasing this person. Stay positive, but so your success will come in whatever you're doing, Cancer, okay? Oh, and it says, out of sight, out of mind, you was keeping a low profile, and you had to practice quieting your mind and prevent overthinking about over and over and over and over and over. And you've been blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance balance is coming to you my dear look because the angels come to balance the angels come to bring this balance in your head so you would stop getting in your own way that's what is oh chariot high priestess your energy look 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 so get out of your own way believe in yourself and get out of your comfort zone Movement, okay? Rewards that come from your hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower. Public recognition. 
high priestess. You meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's... Well, we'll put this up here. So, so you're needing to move away from getting in your own... Get out of your own damn way and believe in yourself, okay? Because rewards is coming. Balance and rewards are coming. Look, release the wheel. Release the wheel. 15, 15. Ooh, 66. So that harmony balance can come. And then you can move. You understand? That's what's saying now. And high priestess, oh, you might be attracted to a Pisces, you know, or um, a Virgo or something, high priestess, okay? Uh, so you meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. So God's saying, pay attention. I, I've been giving you signs and messages, so trust it. You got to be the one to trust. You got to be the one that trusts that this divine soul counterpart that you have with this other person that you're attracted to, it transcends all this superficial bull crap. Okay, that's what it's saying. Honor, honor your loved ones, and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. Yeah, because look, nine of coins. It's been slow. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect time and a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. See, this guardian angel is watching over you during this release process. That's what it's saying. Yin yang, yin yang. Oh, somebody wants to send you some fast love messages. Uh, but it could be unexpected events or rapid changes. The ability to multitask or business travel. So you're meant to travel towards your twin. That's what it's saying. You've been planning how to travel. You've been planning what action you could take to travel towards them. Oh, you're wanting to be open because uh, you know that the, the divine guided you to this person and you're wanting to be open with them. That's what it's saying. And um, <clears throat> you've, you've been, you fell in love with this person or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and the ending of challenges exchanging gifts don't give up on people you love the angel said don't you give up on someone you love you all might be wanting to buy a house together and move in together be open to this new love it's brought balance to you past life connection oh three of swords this person broke your heart over and over through many different lives great sadness that will heal with time let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges. You're healing these misunderstandings before before being there for those in need. Oh, so see, you're being there for people that need you at this moment, okay? Oh, and then we have the magician. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it. You can do it. See, you've been believing it. And the angel said it's going to come. It's meant to bring this balance, okay? <clears throat> because you, you're needing to be a person that is emotionally independent and you don't rely on on anyone else to make you feel whole. You're needing to, be, to become emotionally independent and, and learn what real love feels like. It feels light, fun, abundant, caring, and giving, okay? Like whoever his twin is, they've, they've learned that real love from you, you know? And, and you're you're good with yourself, so release this person. That's what Spirit's saying, okay? And look, ooh, you need to look and see what's in your midheaven or your 10th house, and this will show you what job or career you should move towards and do. That's what God's wanting you to focus on, okay? High Priestess, you're meant to be an influence in your community. That's what Spirit's saying. And, and, uh, you and this person is very protected, and the angels have your all's back. And you are going to be put on a pedestal for all your good deeds and showing others that spirit will show and tell you all the people who was against you. See, you're protected by these angels. They love you. Okay, and whoever that old person is that... Um, hang on a minute. Whoever that old person is, this old past person that's heart broke you, 
and you've been trying to heal all these misunderstandings and you've been being there for those in need, that old karmic, that, that person just loves the way your body moves. Do you understand, Cancer? They love your body. They might like how you sing, but they love how your body moves around. And you might not be allowed to have any friends or any time to yourself like you're under control by this person. And you and you have to see that that might be uh, an abusive narcissist. If, you, if you've had to live with an abusive narcissist, you know that they're only connected to you for the way your body moves. Okay, Cancer? And, and that's what I got for you today. I hope that helps you. Let's see what this tells us if... Let's see. Look, <laughs> look what just fell out. I, I just... So I'm not even going to do anymore. Look, you may be a mother, Cancer. And you're going to have to let this karmic man go. Okay? Or you might be a Cancer and it's a it might be a, a mother karmic woman that you need to let go. It just depends. Okay? That's what it's saying. I mean, you can read the card. Maybe that person, this karmic, has did something with a mother behind your back that might be a prostitute. Who knows what sign they are, but God just wanted to show it, okay? God, God just wanted to show it, so I did. Don't get mad if it ain't for you. I don't know who it's for, so don't get mad at me. Um, let me give you a good luck card. <coughs> good luck card. 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 Oh, ladybird. As tradition goes, farmers used to pray to the Virgin Mary to protect their crops, and when these small red and black spotted insects arrived to eat the pests, they were called the beetle of Our Lady in her honor, which over time was shortened to ladybirds or ladybugs in the U.S. The Turkish name is good luck bug. If a ladybird lands on you, count the spots on its shell to find out how many months of good luck that you'll have. If a ladybird lands on you, you're due some good luck. Oh, so when these, when you see these ladybugs land on you, good luck is coming, okay? Good luck is coming. That's what it's saying. So remember that, Cancer. Ladybirds, you're trying, spirit's trying to bring this good luck into your life, but you got to believe in yourself. And you got to believe that these angels has helped, they help all people that wished for them. Are you listening? And you're rising above this negative person and God's saying, hey, bring that balance. Let go of the steering wheel and let us steer you in the direction and pay attention. Pay attention to the signs. It's a karmic. It's a karmic man, karmic woman that's been doing magic on you and you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. And when you see that ladybug and it lands on you, you're going to know when your money or whatever it is, it's coming. And I love you, Cancer, and I hope this helps. And I'm going to have to get off here and do another reading. But make for sure you help this reading get around. I need your all's help. If you all wanted me to do these cancer readings, you need to give it help. All right? That's the only way I'll do them again. Are you listening? All right. I love you all. And I'm going to get off here. Peace.